back to another American Truck Sim video. I am New78, and this is my American Truck Simulator Let's Play series, Stories on the Road. I upload this every Tuesday and Thursday, so be sure to check that out. Links for the playlist are down in the video description. And today we are finishing up our trip to Jackpot, Nevada. We're down here in Eli. We got our rest in. We're good to go. Uh, of course, the upload schedule is a little bit different with the holiday here in the States. Uh, by the way, hope everyone had a safe and great 4th of July. Mine was kind of uneventful, but that's okay. It was kind of unseasonably cool here. I'm not sure about where you guys are at, but I know here was about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than it normally is. So that was actually kind of nice. Didn't have all the heat humidity to deal with, so... Get out here and finish up our run to Jackpot. Once we get going here just a little bit, uh, changed up the paint job a little bit on the W900, nothing major. There we go. There we go. Just kind of gave it more of a eggshell white and kind of a burgundy kind of look. That's kind of the color I was trying to achieve anyway. Just messed around with the color selector a little bit more. Got that dialed in. over here but yeah with the holiday and everything the upload schedule is a little bit goof this week so it's just gonna be two episodes of stories in the road no gameplay footage and I'm actually thinking about kind of doing away with the gameplay footage uh, at least at least for the interim kind of what I'm thinking about doing there is until the map update gets released of course uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the map rescale video I did a couple weeks ago there. That will be in the video description as well. If you've not seen that, check that out. Some good information in there. But uh, one thing I'm thinking about doing is I did a little bit in a couple of my uh, previous stories from the road videos was talked about wish lists and stuff like that that we kind of like to see in the game. But I want to go back now that they're actually going to go back and redo the map and everything and go a little bit more in depth and make it a little bit more specific about some possible changes we could see and some changes that uh, I think would really help the game out quite a bit. And it seems like the news types of videos like that seem to do pretty well. Seems like you guys like those quite a bit. So at least maybe for the next couple months or, you know, whenever the map gets released, kind of go back and incorporate some of that into the upload schedule and then kind of do away with uh, just the plain old gameplay footage for now. And as you guys have probably noticed, I am finally on the uh, MHA Pro Map update for 1.3. I'm loving it so far. I've messed around with it a little bit, not a whole lot. But uh, really impressed with what they've done. So really looking forward to exploring that. 
checking that out. And like I said, I will get uh, my mod spreadsheet updated. I'm a little bit behind on that, and I apologize. SKRS. It sounds like they're wrapping up the pre-orders. So hopefully here in the next week or so, that'll be coming in. And like I said in the past, I will do a full review on that, but I'm really excited to get that in and get that get that integrated into the sim. try to go through all the gears. I know I typically don't do that because it's kind of a pain without the SKRS. There we go. So right now I'm just using uh, the directional pad on the G27 shifter. And we got this car out here passing on a curve. That's pretty safe. No, no, they're not. Okay. Safe travels. You guys go back and watch the last couple of episodes. I've, I've had my fair share of go-rounds with uh, the AI traffic. Cars just pulling right out in front of me. Merging into my lane in front of me on the interstate. All sorts of crazy stuff. Merging into other cars. I'm using uh, the Piva Weather Mod 2.3, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but uh, every once in a while, I gotta hop out of the interior view and go out to the exterior view and hop back in real quick. But sometimes it either gets real bright or gets real dark. And if I do that, it seems to fix itself. And this is a contracted run, so it looks like we are limited to 65 mile an hour, which is no big deal. And I did notice one really cool thing with the contracted runs. I actually started this contract probably, oh gosh, probably well over a week ago. And you know how when you go back and add mods or take mods out of the game, it like resets you and puts you back at your home base? Well, one cool thing is with the contract that I noticed is... I made some changes to mods and everything like that. Took some out, put some in. And this guy's gonna pull right out in front of me. But well, one cool thing with the contract is, even after all those changes and everything, I was able to pick up right where I left off at Ely. I wish they would do that just for the regular freight market stuff too because that is so annoying when you make any changes to the game that automatically defaults you back to your home base which can really kind of screw you up if you're you know in the middle of a good run or you're you know like some of us are that uh, make YouTube content and you're in the middle of a trip that can really kind of hose you so fortunately uh, I was able to continue this trip pick up right where we left off in the last episode.
how's everyone doing today? A nice long holiday weekend, so that was kind of nice. Did some grilling out. But pretty much in the, in the spring and summer, that's pretty much all I do is grill out as much as I can. Looks like we're coming up on jackpot, so made pretty good time running up here. So depending on, depending on what time we get up to the destination, get delivered and everything, we might grab another run this episode. At least get one started. Good job of paying attention there, Moose. I was watching to see if I was going to clear that sign and really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing there. Whoopsie. Cleared that pretty good. You guys probably noticed I changed the uh, sound mod for the truck. I'm using, uh, and hopefully I don't butcher his name too bad, but uh, Kreech Bombs. Two point, I think it's version 2.2 sound mod. The ISX Cummins. So I switched that out. I got the uh, 600 uh, Cummins in this now instead of the cat. Pretty good sound mod though. Where do they want this thing? All right, guys, I gotta I gotta get better on the backing up. So I'm gonna give this one a go. We will give it a go. And if they want it right there. That might. Gosh dang, that trailer up there is gonna screw me though. Drop it down low. Now, one thing I have added, and I can't remember the name of the author right now, so I apologize for that. But it's out on the Steam Workshop, and like I said, I will get that mod spreadsheet updated uh, here in the next couple days. Again, I apologize for being behind on that. But now there's a, a camera mod out for the W900 where you can actually kind of see what you're doing when you're backing up, which that is going to be crucial in this particular situation right here. I am going to cheat just a little bit. Let's see. I think I should be okay.
way the fork off. Gotta give myself just a little bit of a head start. See if I can't get back then. I just hate how that thing walks though. Even when I'm using the uh, trailer brake, it just kinda kinda does whatever it wants. Straightened out here, see if we can't get it all lined up and put it in the hole. Not terribly bad. So now the way it's walking is kind of working into my favor. Kind of working into my favor. Not bad at all. I might not actually have to put the uh, SpongeBob edit of me backing up in. Where I, you know, if I'm backing up and I put something in there that looks like it's from SpongeBob where it goes 2,000 years later. That's because it literally took me about that long to get the damn thing backed up. Working at it. Car oh, look at that. Look at freaking that. Hey, we'll take it. We will take it. All right. So that finishes up a good trip up to Jackpot. Late? Well, yeah, it's late because I picked this thing up like a couple weeks ago. I got a, got about a week ahead in content creation there. So, yeah, that that's just a little bit late, but that's okay. That is okie dokie. Yeah, I got got ahead of schedule because uh, I knew the division update was getting getting close to launch, and that came out uh, just over a week ago. Came out. Let's see what is today. A week ago today, I think. So I've been grinding that hard for the you know, last week. So I haven't played a whole lot of ATS. Get out from underneath the trailer here. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another load started here. Check out the external contract market, because those seem to do pretty well. That's only down to Elko. That might be, that might be just about right for us. Quick trip down to Elko. Should do pretty good for this episode. Then maybe from Elko we'll take a longer run and do that in the next episode. So we're going to grab this stainless reefer. I've actually been wanting to check this out. I have not uh, not pulled it yet, so pretty interested to see what all that's about. Yeah, not too shabby. Got that backed in fairly easy. A lot better than I typically do, so pat myself on the back. Now, I'm still running a 13-speed transmission, so I might go up to an 18-speed. Once uh, the SKRS comes in, we'll mess around with that. Grind them till you find them, kids. Grind them till you find them. I think overall, though, my driving is starting to get a lot better. I'm 
not killing it hardly at all, if ever. Not really grinding gears too much, and I'm going the wrong way. Problem. Not a problem. Was my load back there where I was picking up, where dropping off at? Stop in the middle of the road. That's probably a pretty good call on my part. Driving a lot better nowadays. Stop in the middle of the road, about running through stop signs. Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Good. There we go. Back on track there. Okay, so yeah, I am picking up at where I dropped off. I must have looked at it wrong because I thought we were picking up in an Edie's or something, so. Bag gone up, moose. Chucklehead. You little chucklehead. So we're delivering to an Edie's, not picking up at an Edie's. Duly McNoted. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that because we dropped off right next to it, so yeah. Yeah. yeah no worries. We'll get it. Three miles off of where I need to be. I think I'm just a bit off, so we'll pull up just a little bit. Should be good. There we go. All right. So we backed up pretty good. We got coupled up with the trailer pretty good. So progress. Progress is being made. Take a look. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Looking pretty good. Check one thing real quick. Oh, yeah.
Grab a quick screenshot there. There we go. We'll get trucking down to Elko. That's one thing I've been working on too is my corner and stuff like that. So that way I'm not running over curbs so much and doing a little bit better job at that. Yeah, not too shabby at all. Need to change the trailer wheels up though. Need to do that. Thing must be fairly heavy. Yeah, 35,000 pounds, almost 36,000 pounds, so got a little bit of weight to it. Everything's clear. Not sure what the bus is waiting on. Apparently the last second. We'll start out down in the basement. Kind of screwed myself. There we go. There we go. Now we're back into rhythm. Now we're back in rhythm. I just want to change those uh, trailer wheels up. We'll get to go on this one. So back in the Holland days, I used to pull this trailer all the time, actually with a W900 too. So a little bit of a nostalgic trip for myself.
this side of the gears this episode. No longer to talk about how I'm driving better. I like jinx the piss out of myself. No, don't get over it all. Don't get over it all. Once I get the uh, SKRS in, though. Yeah, I would like the sound mod for the. Seriously. So right when I get up on the exit, it gives me the not notification to hop on the uh, scales. So that really gives me no time to really get, whoops, really gives me no time to kind of slow down and make a better approach. Down to the basement. Seventy-eight thousand eight hundred thirty-eight pounds. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Going kind of heavy. I don't think this is one thing you would necessarily see at a scale house. At least not this guy over here on the left-hand side. Maybe the guys over here on the right hand side, but a little bit crowded. the sound mod. It's nice and clean. Sounds good. Not quite as loud as the other one. Which the other one really sounded good. I mean, it's a great sound mod. I'll leave that in the uh, spreadsheet in case you guys want to use that. Couple of minor mishaps, but just knocking off the rust and everything, so that's to be expected. But proved on a couple of things this trip. Backing up is getting a little bit better. Coupling's getting a little bit better. Hopping off the ramps is getting a little bit better, so I feel like we're going in the right direction. I 
it out of Elko in pretty good time here. See the destination up ahead, so I'm not going to get it too wound up. leaving six high there till we get uh, we're just about there. Can we catch traffic just right here? Maybe, 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 maybe. Bloody hell. sure what this car is doing. So for whatever reason, when I turn my turn signal on, he just kind of crap, he craps his pants and decides to stop. Son of a bitch, come on. The AI needs some lovin's. some good old lovin's. So I can tell you right now, with this being an Eddie's and this being a 53 foot trailer, I am not even gonna try to back that thing in there. Oh yeah, especially with where they would want that. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe another time, but we're get this one's starting to run a little bit long, so I'm just gonna drop this here. And we are going to call this. And we're going to call that good right there. So as always, guys, thanks for tuning in and watching and supporting. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to tune in next episode when we take off from Elko. Not sure what we're going to deliver and haul and all that good stuff yet. We'll get that figured out at the start of the next episode, though. If you're new to the channel, not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But until the next one, guys, take care, and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.